All right, thanks to PCB Way for supplying boards for the channel. We have boards in today. Which boards? <laughs> uh, the board that I screwed up last time. Hopefully it'll be right this time. Let's take a look. All right, first we have to do an inside dog check. There he is. Inside dog's on the back side. And I should have it the right way around. Here's the, uh, here's the wrong way around. So last time I made it like this and it went into the product like this and this smashed into things. And now this one, as you can see, is backwards. <laughs> so it goes in like a so and that'll hang over this end. So anyway, it's basically the same board, but with this part, this part move from one side to the other and uh, yeah so let me not, I don't want to get this confused now so let me make sure make sure it's right yeah these these go together this is the bad one put that back over there all right um, so we need to add a couple components to try it out um, let's get out it uses an HCT 373. And so that's what we will put on. Here is one. And a couple bypass caps just for fun. So let me get some solder paste out. All right, uh, solder paste. Yeah, so let's uh, let's go ahead and I can hold it like this. I'm just gonna put a stripe of solder right across the part here, and another stripe right across this part over here, and a blob there, and a blob there, and a blob there, and a blob there. All right, we are good to go. All right, now pin one is, pin one is over there, okay? So the part has to go on like that. All right, and it'll be easier if I do it like this. No microscope, watch me do it with my eyes closed. Let's see here, okay. Drop that on, oops. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It'll all mush around anyway. It'll all mush around. Okay, and uh, we need to pick out some capacitors. Uh, I've got some nice point ones. Got some point oh ones. Let's do the point ones. Let's get a couple of those out. Yeah. 0805s. Little guy out here. Drop him on. And a little guy over here. Drop him on. All right. So theoretically, if I throw this in the oven, that solder is going to melt everywhere and hopefully get every. Anyway, we can always touch it up later if it doesn't. But this is the fastest and an easiest way for me to do things in the lab. Yeah, you could go in there by hand and do everything, but I've already got an IR oven. It's super easy for me to just to push the button. So that's what I do. Right, here it is. Looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So um, these are some nice headers you can get. Uh, there are pins, I guess. They're, they're uh, uh, kind of long and skinny on this side and a little bit stubbier on this side so yeah that's a that's a good one to get for uh, for these guys and then the uh, sockets are just pin pins pin sockets those are self-explanatory but the uh, long I don't, I don't know I don't know how you search for those but they're just a, a, a pin header 
So this thing here uh, goes right there. Uh, it should just attach itself right there. All right, let's get this thing plugged in. Um, now, uh, when we read address 2800, I believe is what this is, um, we should read whatever's in this ROM. I'm pretty sure this probably has something in it. All right, so we'll just kind of put it in there and see. Oh, it's hard to get all the, the these little pin sockets. You have to have everything. You have to have everything perfect. Otherwise, it ain't going in. I do like the pin sockets otherwise. All right, I think I, I think I didn't remember it correctly. I think this starts at eight, 800. This goes from, from zero to seven FFF. And this one goes from 800 to uh, some, some, some. <laughs> Let's try that again. Let's try that again. Uh, so that's, uh, zero, 800. Next, zero, 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 one, zero, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Okay, this one's counting. All right, well, that's interesting. I don't think that's what's in that ROM. It's like we're reading our, we're reading our own address. I wonder if there's a logic error in my, uh, my board here. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, so we can read this one. And it goes up to 7FF, I think. So uh, let's go to 7F9. Uh, okay, there. FF. Jump, that's a jump. F. And then we'll go to 800. And then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what's in this ROM. Let me program a ROM. Uh, let, me, uh, let me program a ROM so I know I know exactly what's in it. And then we can try to read it. All right, I figured out what was wrong. Uh, indeed, this starts at 800, but it wasn't addressing it right. When I put my uh, probe on um, the chip enable, and uh, you can see this one's flashing. And if I go over one, uh, well, that's not a good example because I'll tell you what I did. Uh, let me let me just pre briefly describe things. So this chip here has a chip enable one and a chip enable two and i thought well we're just going to use chip enable so we'll just run the chip short them together run anyway they're 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 treated differently in the in this machine only chip select one is used okay not chip select two and i have them wired together on this board and then that shorts out the board down below having those two things tied together it didn't like that so it wasn't able to do a chip select so uh, what I did was I um, uh, snipped pin two on this. So pin two isn't there any longer. Uh, on the bottom, there's no pin two. So only pin one makes contact to the socket. There is no pin two, okay? So now uh, when I go, I get a, I get a, I get a chip enable on, on, the, on here. Before, when I did this, it just stayed high all the time. So anyway. That's what that was. Now, I did read the contents of this ROM, and this is the contents. So it's going to start out 1801FC. So if we go to uh, 0800, we get 18, and then it should be 01, and then it'd be CF, 
and then 6b, and then 0, 0, 0, 0, f, 0, 0, 0, f, 0, and then it starts over 1, 8, 1, 8, and then 0, 2, 3f, ff, so anyway, it's reading, it's reading the ROM correctly. So now we actually have a working, a working ROM. So we could put a program in here now and actually get it to go. Uh, that's pretty cool.